This is an update. Um, you all saw in my, if you watched the Fabsil, your bivy um, video, you'll see I used to do it with Fabsil each year. This is my winter bivy. And this is the overwrap on it as well. Just And, and everybody said how was or how good was it. And a lot of people used it. And some people were giving them cheaper options. I've always stuck with Fabsil because it, it does what it says on the tin basically. So this is my first time back out this year with my uh, winter bivy. So what I thought I would do is show you how it is this is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put it on here somewhere, but I think this is about four year old, this bivy now, and it gets used all through winter. It's been in so many storms and, you know, it's had branches fall on it and mud all over it and, 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 and all sorts. It's been in, in quite a few storms, let's say. So what I've done is I've fab sealed it and I'm gonna bucket of water here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just show you how it just runs off. Um, when, before I done, redone this in spring before I put it away, if you used to put water on it, it would sort of, it ran off still, but it just soaked in a little bit. But now this has been fab sealed and I thought I'd just give you an update so you can all see what it's like um, after coming out ready for winter and with the fab seal on. So I'll just move the camera further, closer. You can see that, let's tilt that down a bit. Right, so what I'm gonna do, and here we go. So I've got a bucket of water and you'll just see it just. And there you go. As you can see, just little droplets on there. I mean, that weren't a lot, that was a good half a bucket. And off it comes. So if your bivvy's not quite waterproof anymore, get the fab seal out. 